Hey, Emma. How you doing? Hi, Olivia. I'm doing all right. It's been six months since my husband passed away. Yes, it has. Time flies by so fast. I've been so busy with work that I haven't had much time for myself. I know you are busy with your work. But don't you feel like you should be taking care of me? What? Do you know how I have been feeling for the past six months? Well... My husband had always been there for me, and now he's gone. Every day I am lonely and feeling depressed. And you never even call. You're so cold. What? Haven't you heard anything from Brian? About what? He seems to be busy with his work, so we haven't had much time to talk. What the hell is going on with you guys? I wonder if I have to keep an eye on you too. So, here's the thing. I don't really care what's going on between you two. But I can't live like this anymore. Oh. Because, think about it. Before, my husband used to come home from work, spend time together. We used to talk about the day's events and have dinner together. But now, there's nobody. No one even gives me a call. Are you talking about me? Who else is there? I eat alone, I go to bed alone, and when I wake up, there's no one there. Do you know how lonely it is to live like that for six months? I can sort of understand. Oh, really? I don't think you do since you got Brian. You wouldn't understand how I've been feeling. No, I'm serious. I do understand how you have been feeling. Anyway, I didn't text you to talk about my feelings. It's been six months since my husband passed away, so I've decided to move out. What? Where are you going? I haven't heard anything. Of course I'm going to live with you guys. Who else do I have? You're kidding, right? Haven't you really heard anything from Brian? What are you talking about? What's wrong with me moving into my son's house? Moving and living together with your son is okay. But the house is not his. I just want to live with you guys so you can take care of me. No, no, I won't be able to take care of you. Huh? You're my daughter-in-law. How can you be so cocky? I've always hated that about you. Sorry about that. So, my stuff will be delivered tomorrow. I'll need you to clean up the house for me, okay? Why? I'm going to stop by a friend's house and then come over there, so I'll be a little late. You just make sure everything is cleaned up by the time I arrive. I don't like it when you do things like this. I have work to do. I'm going on a business trip tomorrow, so I won't be home. You always put work first. At an important time like this, you should at least put your family first. Anyway, make sure you put my stuff away properly. No, I can't do that. Did you forget what I said? What? You're going to take care of me from now on. Hey, Emma. What's going on? Where are all of my stuff? I told you I was on a business trip and couldn't be home, didn't I? I don't care about your business trip. They took away my stuff. And now, I have to reschedule the delivery again. This is not a good start, you know? Excuse me when I say this, but... Are you insane? What? 
about you moving in. I'm serious. I'm already at the house. What? I started redecorating the living room first because everything is dull. Wait a minute. Does that mean you're already inside the house? Yes, that's right. How did you get in? I got a spare key from Brian. He gave you the spare key? That's right. He made one and gave it to me last week when he came back to my house. What? I can't believe it. But now it makes sense. That's why he didn't return it. What on earth are you talking about? You really don't know anything. Don't know what? I divorced him two months ago. He didn't tell you about it when he went back to your house last week, did he? Divorce? What are you talking about? Are you just talking nonsense just because you don't want to live with me? No, I'm not. Brian suggested me to move in with you guys. He really understands how much I miss my husband. He really is sweet, isn't he? What? And on the other hand, how can Brian not say anything when he's divorced? Stop lying! I don't know why he didn't tell you either. Enough with the lie. By the way, there's no food in this house. Are you even going grocery shopping? I'm not a housewife anymore. I have a job. Don't be a nag. Go out and buy some food right now. It's a waste of electricity if the fridge is empty. You even check the fridge? Of course! I had to check how much you're taking care of Brian. But it's even worse than I imagined. I live alone now, so I don't really need to stack up groceries. And I didn't buy it because it was before my business trip. You were so quick to make excuses. By the way, your bedroom is now my bedroom. Huh? I've got Brian's approval already. I thought I should have my stuff here before I move in. So I had all of your stuff taken out of your bedroom. What do you mean all of my stuff? A bed, a dresser, a small desk, etc.? I got rid of all of it. Now that my room is clear, I can make it just the way I like it. What are you doing? You can't just come into someone's house and get rid of their stuff. What you're doing is totally against the law. Well, Brian has already agreed to everything. If he says it's fine, there's no problem. I told you that Brian and I got divorced two months ago. We're not married anymore. You are trespassing to my private property. Do you want me to call the police? Because I will. Are you still saying that? Brian is the owner of the house, right? A mother entering her son's house is not trespassing. How many times do I have to tell you? Brian and I are divorced. Then why are you living in this house? That's strange, isn't it? It is because I'm the owner of the house. I bought it before I married Brian. It wasn't subject to property division. Enough with the lie. I'm not lying. I have the title to it. Then why does Brian have the key? Because he never gave it back to me. I asked him to return the key when we got divorced. He said he'll bring it back soon, but he never did. After that, I couldn't get in touch with him anymore. I was going to change the lock. You were such a good liar. You make it sound so real. I'm not lying. Are you even listening to me? Whatever. I just remembered that I left some work papers on my desk. 
You didn't throw away those papers, did you? Huh? I don't know anything about that. I got rid of all the papers as well. What? Those were important documents from work. What do you mean you got rid of them? If they were so important, why didn't you just keep them with you? I don't know why you're complaining to me now. How dare you come into my house without my permission and throw away everything? I'll report to the company everything about how you dispose the documents. Those documents contain personal information of our clients. That would be a violation of the personal information protection law. You better be prepared to be fined. What's that? Will you stop imposing your sloppiness on others? It's worse to leave such important documents at home, isn't it? Don't try to get away with this. You trespass into my private property and disposed my personal stuff on your own. As I said before, I'm no longer related to you. So this is all a matter for the police. Stop with the nonsense already. Don't keep telling me you're divorced. I can't do my job if I'm on WhatsApp with you. Anyway, that's my house and you have to leave right now. Huh? My stuff hasn't arrived yet. I don't care about your stuff. Even if your packages arrive, I'm not going to let them in my house. I suggest you change the delivery address as soon as possible. I will be back from my business trip in a week, so you better make sure it never arrives at my place. Olivia! What is wrong with you? Oh, what is it? I told you to leave the house two days ago. But you're still there, aren't you? If you don't get out soon, I'll call the police for trespassing. Are you still talking like that? You better start to understand who's the boss here. I told you, I'm not married anymore. I divorced Brian two months ago. I now live alone in a house I bought myself. The one you're in right now. I don't believe that. And I haven't heard anything from Brian. You're wasting your time trying to get rid of me with your cheesy lie. I see. Then let me ask you something. Do you see any of Brian's stuff in the house? What? Take a look in the closet. His suits, clothes, hats, bags, etc. I think there aren't any at all. Huh? Take a look around the front door. I don't think there's even a single pair of his shoes. Didn't you notice all this time? I don't check every single detail. I just got rid of your crappy stuff that were in the way for now. Why don't you check to see if there are any of Brian's stuff? Fine. Oh my god. It's full of clothes that are in bad taste in this closet. What do you mean bad taste? I also checked the front door, but I can only see your shoes. Right? So it's true that you divorced two months ago? I told you many times it's true. He said he was going to tell you about it. So I believed him and that's why I didn't contact you. But I guess he didn't tell you anything. Why did you guys get divorced? He was having an affair. An affair? Yes. It's been more than half a year now. Just around the time your husband passed away. That's a lie. He would never do such disrespectful thing. He kept working late. At first, I thought he was really busy with work. But one day, I smelled perfume coming from his suit. Perfume? Yes, you know, that he doesn't like that kind of stuff. That's why I began to suspect his behavior. After that, 
he continued to work overtime and went on business trips. I hired a private detective and had him checked out. You did that? I can't forgive you did that behind his back. He was too suspicious. That's... And it turned out he was having an affair. Moreover, several shocking photos were taken, and in no time, I had all the evidence I needed. What shocking photos? Do you want to see it? The two of them walking into the hotel holding hands. A few hours later, they came out of the hotel. Also, there was a picture of them happily drinking a glass of wine together in a hot tub. Oh, no. If you want to see it, I can send you all the pictures. No, thank you. I don't want to see that. So, where is he? I don't know, since I can't contact him right now. Perhaps he is living with his lover at her place? I don't think he has the kind of money to rent an apartment or condo, so... Why? Because he's paying alimony. So his savings must be gone. I'm pretty sure he's broke by now. Wait, what are you saying? You have to go get him and help him right now. Huh? Why would I? We can find out where he is using a private detective, right? Um, you know it's not free to do that, right? I won't spend my precious money for such a waste. A waste? How can it be a waste to find your husband? Huh? You two should get back together. You'll take him back home and have a normal married life again. That's the way to make everyone happy. Huh? Are you crazy? Why do I have to bring back my ex-husband who cheated on me? He was having an affair. Probably you didn't take enough care of him. Why don't you guys talk it over and live together again? That's what you really want, right? Whatever the reason may be, I cannot forgive him for having an affair. I have no intention of getting back together with him. Then what about me? What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Please ask your son. I didn't ask for any of this, and I have nothing to do with you guys. I'm here because I canceled my lease. I've moved my stuff out. And now, where do you want me to go? You're really not letting this go, are you? I'm calling the police now. Huh? Emma, could you please reply? I have something important to tell you. Make it quick. I'm busy working. I went to your house just a while ago. I saw that the nameplate was for a different person. Oh, I sold the house. What? Why? Because I thought that maybe you and Brian might barge in since you two might be broke. And I guess I was right. Oh, no. So, where are you now? Why would I have to tell you? Because I would like to know, okay? I can't tell you. You're a stranger. You're going to barge in on me again anyway, aren't you? Emma, listen to me. I tried to contact Brian after what happened, but I can't get through no matter how many times I call. It's the same when I call him. I still have the delivery company keeping all of my stuff, and they are charging me for it. I can't pay them because I don't have any. Besides, they say if I don't pay, they'll have to send my stuff back to the apartment where I used to live. I'm trying to contact Brian to see what he can do about it. I think he's avoiding you, don't you think? What? I know he was originally trying to get me to take care of you. But now you were arrested and everything? I think that's why he doesn't want to get involved with you. Are you saying that he doesn't want to take care of me? 
Perhaps. He's more scumbag than you think. He's always selfish. Always putting himself first. I'm sure he's planning to abandon you and be with his lover. Oh, no. Then, how am I supposed to live from now on? Well, I have no idea. I don't have a place to live, and my stuff is still at the delivery company. Well, then you have to start by finding a place to live, right? I can't do that, coming to the city all by myself. I don't even know where to live, and I don't have any money. Please, Emma, help me. I'm already a stranger to you. If you want to ask for help, please go to your son. And let me give you a heads up. I will charge you for the damages for disposing of my household goods without my permission and everything. And I will also claim for a fine for violating the personal information protection law because you disposed of my work documents without my permission. I would appreciate it if you could pay me. There's no way I can pay that much, and you know that. I'm asking you for help because I don't have any money and have lost touch with my son. Why don't you just use the police to find him? No, I don't want to make such a big deal for him. Then do whatever you want. However, you'll have to pay everything you've done. I'm a person who has nothing to do with this, and I have no interest in getting involved with you any further. Oh, no. You are my son's ex-wife, right? Your ex-mother-in-law is in such trouble. So at least help me. I'm not going to. You've been bullying me and trying to take over my house. There's no way I'm going to help you. Emma, I apologize for everything, please. I'm going to block your account. If you contact me again, I'll call the police again. Emma, please! Don't leave me! After that, Olivia, who had lost her place to live and her money, went to her relatives for help. When the relatives heard what had happened and learned that her son was currently missing, they were completely dismayed. However, only one of them lent her money with a condition. The condition was that she should live within her budget and that she would work diligently and repay the money in full. She was living comfortably on a pension, but now she is reluctant to work. But she had no other choice, so she accepted the loan in tears. I heard that she is now living a simple life, working part-time as a cashier at a supermarket in the countryside. She was abandoned by her own son, but she deserves it, considering what she had done. I'm living a carefree life in a new apartment I bought near my office. I'm enjoying my life where all I have to think about is myself, and I'm going to be away from romance for a while. 